Hey everybody, welcome to Divine Conversations. My name is Eric, thank you so much for joining me. If you are new to the channel, hey there, it's very nice to meet you. And if you're returning, welcome back guys. Welcome to your July monthly readings. Hey, July, all right, we're in the middle of the summer guys, it's great. I hope you're enjoying yourselves. Happy birthday to all the Cancers out there. Um, I, this is, today is what? Today is the 8th of July. So we are still in Cancer season. So I hope you guys are all enjoying your birthdays, uh, your birthday season. And to all the Leos out there, your birthdays are coming up. So I'll say happy birthday to you guys now, but we'll get to that next month, yeah? Um, so I did something a little bit differently this time. I wanted to get into the energies first before I started reading for them. I'm not so keen personally on forecasting, on fortune telling. I tell people all the time I am not a fortune teller, okay? I'm more about um, understanding the current energies and bringing clarity to them to help you you know, make the best decision for yourself moving forward. So that's why I waited a little bit before um, I release I put out the, the July monthlies. Also, if you're seeing some smoke, don't worry about it. <laughs> My apartment's not on fire. <laughs> I'm just burning some sage, yeah? Um, let's see, anything else? These are general readings, okay? So take what resonates with you and leave what doesn't. Um, if you would like a personal reading, I am very much available for that. You can go ahead and email me. All of the information is in the description box below. Um, num, 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 num. I think that's it. So what I'm doing with this, the readings this month, I am using the Golden Universal Tarot for the, you know, the general message. And then I'm also getting Oracle Guidance from the Unicorns and the Crystal Mandala deck. And uh, when it comes to the Crystal Mandala deck, I am um, focusing it on, yes, bringing the message forward, but also putting forth the intention that the, whatever crystal comes out, if you feel uh, guided to purchase that crystal so that you can work with it, I highly recommend that you do so. Yes, 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 that's always a fun thing to do. And yeah, I believe that is it for now. So let's get into the reading, yeah? Yay! Hey Taurus, welcome to your reading. Taurus fam, whoop whoop, what's up squad? Let's get straight into it, yeah? All right, Taurus. Hey spirit. Please make me a clear channel for all Taurans, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all Taurans for the month of July. Thank you so much, Spirit. What's up, Taurus? Immediately I'm seeing green. Now, that is because you're an Earth sign. But I'm thinking money is on your mind. Yes, Taurus, we were about to have a flyer. Yeah, and it's going to be the Six of Pentacles. Money is on your mind, okay, and the Six of Swords. Money is on your mind, but also material aspects of uh, balance between give and take. You've got two sixes already. So this right now, right now, right now, <laughs> this is you in the process of balancing, okay, between give and take. And you could be moving on to some other place, um, of some sort that will provide you with this balance that you're looking for, ultimately, all right? You could be physically moving, or you could just be um, uh, moving mentally in the sense of changing your thoughts or beliefs about something, about an element of your life. You could be uh, redefining your beliefs. You could be moving out of a lack mentality. It could be Taurus, 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 Taurus. All right. All right. One more shuffle for you, Taurus, and then I'll cut the deck, and we'll get into this. Okay. Boop. 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 All righty. What we got for you, Taurus? Overall energy. We're starting off with the Ten of Wands. Yeah, you're burdened, aren't you? Now, this ain't nothing new for a Taurus. We basically live our lives in the Ten of Wands, don't we? <laughs> yeah, we sure do. I'm a Taurus son, baby. I know. But it's okay, because we can handle it. We are 
fucking tanks, guys. All right, cool. But that's fine. Okay, but you're still burdened by something. And I really feel like you want to release at least some of those burdens, you know, so you can live a little more of your life. And we've got the moon, so there are secrets around. Someone's not being honest. We've got the Ten of Swords in reverse. And we've got this Page of Swords. This is that person that's not being honest, Taurus. It's not you. It is definitely not you. Okay? You're carrying these burdens right now because of the illusion that's around you. Because you feel like you have to continue to do so. But when you can, as you're, and now here's the issue, all right? The Ten of Wands in a Taurus reading, um, I right, cool. That's nothing new. But the Ten of Swords, though, the Ten of Swords is reversed. But it's not all your fault, Taurus. Why? Because of the moon. Okay, there's illusion. There are secrets around you. There are people around you that are not who they say they are. They're these... Oof. Oof. <laughs> Oof. They're these page of swords, sons of mitches. They're watching you. Watching your every move. In some cases, they're looking for a way to get in there and get another stab in with this Ten of Swords. And in some ways you feel stuck, Taurus, because you have all this illusion around you and you can't, you feel like you can't get away from this constant backstabbing. But what the moon is also trying to tell you is you gotta use your intuition, baby. If there is a direction that your intuition is pulling you towards, you better follow that or you're gonna continue to get stabbed by these pages, okay? Because that's really all they are, Taurus, they're pages. They're not knights, 444 on the counter, the angels are with you here, baby. They're not knights, they're not queens, and they're definitely not kings. They're pages. Let that marinate. Moving forward in your storyline, we've got the Eight of Cups, here you go. Walking away. And it's upright. But again, you gotta use your intuition here, okay? We've got cups. This is about emotions. This is about feeling. This is about intuition. We also have the moon. The moon also could be talking about moon cycles, okay? But that's for some of you. That's specific. It's not, that's not so overall. The eight of cups with strength. You could be dealing with Leo. Leo could be in your chart. Or... This is just saying you have the strength, you have the abundance to move on. You have it, Taurus. And you know you do too. You know you do. But it's also this element of we are just so used to carrying all the burdens all the time that you're just like, oh, well, I mean, it's, yeah, I mean, it's fine. I could continue. But you don't have to. That's the thing. And I just saw 555 on the counter. You don't have to keep carrying these burdens. You are not in any way obligated to do this anymore, okay? Why? Because it's your life. Moving forward, we've got the Page of Cups. There could be someone coming towards you to try and offer you something, but because this is a Page of Cups, I'm, and because of the energy that I'm feeling around Taurus right now, or at least the Taurus that I'm channeling, you're not even trying to fuck with this. The fuck am I don't do with a page? You don't see me? You think you re- <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> What the fuck am I going to do with a page? <laughs> but also, I mean, the page doesn't have to be bad. This could just be communication, small messages. This could be the opening of... This could be somebody opening up to you. In all honesty, it could be. Finally opening up to you, potentially. Who knows? But the page of cups is... is ah, the ace of cups in reverse. And this is exactly why I was picking up that energy of the fuck am I going to do with a page? Because if somebody's trying to come step to you, I don't think, I'm getting this a few ways. Either I don't think they're coming to you correctly in the way that you know that'll, that'll give you what you're looking for. And so I'm seeing you kind of rejecting this offer. Or this is a page of cups that's just been continuously pouring their cup out. 
This also could be you, Taurus. You could have a number of people coming towards you, but they're not giving you the right thing. Like they're not coming at you with something that, um, is ultimately what you, uh, the, the new beginning that you're really looking for. There could already be somebody in your life that is giving you just a little bit. Like this could be, you know, you could be hooking up with someone, um, it could be someone from your past that's like coming forward and like they're giving you the little bit of love here or there, but ultimately it's not the, yeah. Also, regardless of whatever it is uh, on a specific level, generally this is not the, the romantic start that you, that you're looking for or that you want. So ultimately it's just kind of like occupying time right now, occupying space right now. It's a little, it's a bit of a distraction right now, which in this case, I'm not seeing as such a bad thing. For some of you, it could be a distraction that, that, you know, could potentially like set you back a little bit, but I'm not even trying to stress that. Like that's, I just threw it out there because it's something that's, you know, it's possible. Maybe you might want to watch out for it, but honestly, it's not, it really ain't even no thing because I'm really seeing this page of cups. as kind of harmless, you know, innocent even. Okay, moving forward, we have the Nine of Cups in reverse. Yeah, this is not the material fulfillment that you want, huh, Taurus? But this is going back to what this Ten of Wands represents. Now, you could be overindulging. You could be drowning your sorrows right now because of all this. And I would, I would be careful. And not to say that you're going to really be in any real danger, but ultimately, like, that's... That's just going to drain your energy. That's just going to wear you out, you know, and then you're not going to have the reserves that you normally would to really pull yourself up. But the Nine of Cups is coupled with the, <laughs> the Page of Pentacles in reverse. Ouch. Yeah. Okay. I get it, Taurus. So you're drowning your sorrows because you're carrying all these burdens. You're getting constantly stabbed in the back. And you don't know how to move forward, even though you need to move forward and you know you have the strength to move forward. You don't ultimately feel like it because you've got this page of pentacles here. You're like, there is no possible way that I will be able to sustain, sustain myself if I move on, if I start over. And so you're kind of starting to drown your sorrows. Drugs, alcohol, sex, whatever. Substances, whatever. Material pleasures, whatever. It doesn't matter. You don't need to drown your sorrows like this. Because ultimately, yeah, you're you, moving forward from whatever your whatever burdens you're carrying. Potentially, yeah, you're probably going to be a page for a little bit. But this is only energetically because ultimately you're still the king. You're still the fucking bull. The tank that you've always been. You can take anything, Taurus. You can do anything. Anybody can do anything. But Taurans have a real knack for being able to take some shit. Right? So you don't have to be afraid of this. Moving forward, we've got death. Transformation, change. Booyah. And it's upright. You're driving this ship. 11-11 on the counter. You're driving this ship. You're driving this transformation, Taurus, because you know there needs to be a change. Death is coupled with the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Excellent. So what I'm seeing here now, now the Knight of not, I'm sorry, yes, the Knight of Pentacles is not in reverse is not necessarily a bad thing. I'm sorry, it's not necessarily a good thing. But here it's different because this transformation is coming because the Knight of Pentacles energy is being released. We're done pussyfooting around the situation. We're done doing everything we possibly can, working every freaking angle just to make sure it's not gonna work. Bitch, you know it's not gonna work. Stop procrastinating. And just move on with the transformation. And let people be left in your dust. Who the fuck cares? They want to stay back in that page of swords energy? Let them. That's their choice. That ain't you, boo. It will never be you. It has never been you. And you know this, Taurus. Moving forward, we have... ah, The Knight of Cups. 
excuse me. So this, I'm really feeling like this is you, okay? Because we've got this transformation that's happening. You're leaving the Knight of Pentacles energy behind, and now you're picking up this cup and being like, let me just move forward with what I know is right for me. Let me just move forward with my emotional fulfillment. Let me take my cup and go somewhere else where people will actually appreciate it. How about that? How about that, Taurus? Coupled with... The King of Pentacles in reverse. So this is you, potentially. Or what I'm really picking up is this is this is um, this is an establishment. It's not necessary. I know. I know. I'm really picking up an energy of an authority here. Someone or something, some sort of situation that is way too focused on the material to even think about accepting a cup from anybody let alone someone as fabulous as you, Taurus. You see how this cup, this king of cup pentacles is reversed and looking the complete opposite way? Let him. That's his problem. That's their problem. Because here you are coming up with some emotional fulfillment. I mean, it's not the king of cups, but the knight of cups here is the messenger for the, is a messenger for the king and queen. Is coming in in a humble state, right? to bring forward some sort of emotional value. But they ain't even paying, none of them, none of them are paying attention, Taurus. So fine, fuck them. Let them be on their page of sword shit. It's their problem, not yours. Moving forward, we've got the Knight of Wands. Okay, I'm picking up an energy of just moving forward. I mean, look, we've got almost all the knights here. We've got the Knight of Pentacles, we've got the Knight of Cups, and we've got the Knight of Wands. And the Knight of Cups and the Knight of Wands, these are your energies, Taurus. Because if you look here, these two are looking right at each other. And I feel like they're a team. They're like, okay, how can we make this work? Because the Knight of Cups is over here talking about, look, they ain't even paying attention. And the Knight of Wands is like, yup. We're moving in a different direction, different direction now. So the Knight of Wands is the action behind um, the reality of the Knight of Cups. Okay, the Knight of Wands is coupled with the Four of Cups. All right, the universe is trying to hand you something because you've been sitting here a little, a little rejected and a little dejected with this Three of Cups situation. And now the universe is like, hey, 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 look, I got this cup here for you. Let's just set that down and make it a complete four. And let's get you, let's get you emotionally stable. So that you, oh, oh, my phone is ringing. That is so rude. So rude. Sorry. Um, what else is coming through here with this Knight of Wands? Um... Knight of Wands and the Four of Cups. I mean, wishy-washy energy, like in and out. Okay, alternatively, even though I did say that the Knight of Cups and the Knight of Wands are kind of working in tandem, in alternate situations, the reason why this King of Pentacles person or whatever is not accepting anything that you have to offer is because they're still in this Knight of Wands energy. They don't want to settle down. They don't want to pick up a cup that could be fulfilling for them, that could actually be healthy for them. They don't want it. They want to stay in this player atmosphere. This even relates to this Ten of Wands situation. You could be, you could be carrying the burdens of a relationship. Or if this, is a, a, like, if this is something else, not necessarily a relationship, you've been carrying these burdens. And this King, and this king of Pentacles is letting you. Especially since they know that you're doing a good job. They're going to continue to allow you to do it. And in essence, walk all over you until one day you wise up and be like, no, no. <laughs> Moving forward, we've got, yeah, Taurus, we've got the sun. Okay, we could be talking Leo. There could be Leo energy within your chart. We could be talking another fire sign, Aries, Sagittarius. But either way, the sun is here. The sun is shining. The sun is illuminating things for you, Taurus. The sun is coupled with ooh, justice in reverse. So it feels like there's some injustice here. 
There has been injustice here. But now the sun is coming and is illuminating this injustice. And now somebody's about to get some karmic backlash. And let me tell you, Taurus, it's not going to be you. Because you have been in the right here. You have been carrying these burdens. And you've been allowing people to stab you in the back because there's so much illusion around the situation. Some of the best seers may not have been able to see the truth here because of the illusion that's surrounding this situation. So don't blame yourself. Because ultimately, the sun is shining on this injustice, Taurus. All right, finally, in your timeline, we've got, damn, there it is, all four knights, the Knight of Swords. The Knight of Swords is coupled with, ouch, <laughs> the Ten of Cups in reverse. Somebody has got, somebody's got some shit to say. Um, damn, I, damn, this is some heavy energy. This is why I'm, <laughs> I'm having trouble putting this into words because let me tell you, whoever's holding this Knight of Swords energy and most likely Taurus, it's you, but whoever's holding this Knight of Swords energy, man, they in the right because they've been duped with the Ten of Cups in reverse here. Now, understand, I have been speaking as if, um, to Taurans, but I want you guys to know, because this is a general reading, this could be someone that's connected to you, Taurus. In all honesty, you could be the one that's got this Knight of Swords, or, I'm sorry, Page of Swords energy here. You could be. But in general, I feel like it's not you. Someone is charging far, far away from this ten of, ten of Cups in reverse. Someone has got some truth to bring. Truth is coming into the situation. Be careful, Taurus. The Knight of Swords is upright, all right? So, okay, you're in the right, but still, be careful. Don't go cutting shit up where it's not necessary. Be discerning, all right? Use your logic to really put things into perspective. Knight of Pentacles, Knight of Cups, Knight of Wands, Knight of, Knight of Swords. The only knight that is reversed here is the Knight of Pentacles. Because you're not procrastinating anymore. All right. Oracle Guidance from the Unicorns. Let's give it one shuffle. Taurus. Best messages for Taurus for the month of July. There we go. Excellent. Leadership. Hello. And it's green, which is what I was seeing while I was shuffling your cards. Hello. Leadership. Step into your leadership. Share your message. Inspire and empower others. And do you know how you do that, Taurus? You take your own path. And let people be left in the dust. And then when they're standing there wondering what the fuck just happened with all this Page of Swords energy here, because let me tell you, the Page of Swords is inquisitive. So it is inquisitive. So they're going to figure it out. But let me tell you, Taurus, you're probably going to be long gone by the time they get it. And again, that is not your problem. <laughs> all right. Final Oracle Guidance from the Crystal Mandala deck. And um, if you feel called to pick up whatever stones, gems, crystals, whatever come out, if you feel guided to pick them up because you want to work with them, I highly encourage you to do so, yeah? Okay. Best message for Taurus from the Crystal Mandala deck for the month of July. Just going to let them fall out here. Best message. Boop. There we go. Damn, look at you, Taurus. Yo, leadership, we are all about leadership this month, aren't we? Angel Bath Call and Aqua, Aquamarine, authentic voice. Damn, Taurus, leadership. Authentic voice. Mm-mm-mm. Mm-mm-mm. Mm -mm. And I am going to get into the book for this. 
So you might want to pick up some aquamarine, aquamarine, guys. Authentic voice. We bring you the gift of authentic voice. We want you to know your own truths and to speak them into your in your own way because you have something of value to share. Your inner world, your unique viewpoint, and the person that you are. When you speak from your authentic voice, you help others relax, come out of their heads and into their hearts, and remember the truth of who they are as well. Your authentic voice doesn't have to sound like the voice of any other. It doesn't need to always be soft, although it is, I'm sorry, although in its own way, it will always be loving. Your authentic voice has a place in this world and has been designed to be a valuable part of the sacred choir of soul voices which creates music for the universe. As you trust in your authentic voice, your ability to manifest your divine destiny will grow and your responsible use of the power of your voice will help many. And I want you guys to understand that this doesn't just mean using your voice, although the Knight of Swords here definitely has some shit to say, <laughs> okay? But it also could be just action. Your voice could be expressed, expressed through action. And there is a lot of action here. We've got the Knight of Cups, the Knight of Wands, and the Knight of Swords all upright. The only one, the only, the one knight that takes the least action over the most amount of time is the Knight of Pentacles, and that bitch is reversed. I know that's right. All right, Taurus, there it is. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope this resonated with you, and I look forward to connecting with you guys for the month of August. Yeah, take care. Much love. Mwah. Bye.